Hi, my name is Maria Esparza and I am a first year student here at the University of California, Berkeley and this video is about my first year here at Cal, so here it is. My family has sacrificed so much for me to be here. When I told them I wanted to come to Berkeley, they knew it would be way cheaper for me to go to UCLA because they were giving me a better financial aid package and it's closer to home so I wouldn't have to spend any money on like traveling expenses but they still supported my decision to come all the way here and they brought me like during moving day and you know they always tell me you know they're here for me even though they're pretty far away they they're always there for me and they always try to provide with me with whatever they can even though sometimes you know I feel bad and I tell them you know not to because I know that my parents are going through a lot of financial problems and that has played a huge role in my semester here at Cal. It has made me realize that you know I'm an adult now and I can't always depend on my parents and sometimes you know I can't have everything I want or even everything I need, you know, I just I have to make the best out of what I have and, you know, just try to my best and, you know, hopefully the situation will get better for him. So this may sound funny or silly, but every time I walk by a Mexican restaurant or a Mexican area, it reminds me of home a lot. You know, there's so much I miss from home and it's just like, I'm so far away that I can't even be there for my sisters and my parents when they need me the most. You know, sometimes they tell me something and I do feel left out. And, you know, I feel like I don't belong there anymore. But then I go back and I feel as if I never left. Well, going back home for the break is really tough. You know, I always look forward to it. It's like my motivation. It keeps me going, you know. If, when I don't want to go to class, I think just... Just a few more months, just a few more weeks, just a few more days, and I get to go home, you know, just, you could do this. But, and then I go home, and then everything's, like, amazing, you know, I get to see my family, my friends, I get to eat good food, homemade food, and, you know, it's amazing, you know, I have so much fun. But then when it's time to come back, it's, like, the worst situation ever. The last time I went home, my sister heard my alarm, and... She was telling me not to, not to wake up because it was like 6 in the morning and she was like, don't just go back to sleep, don't leave. And I was like, I have to. And then she was like, no, just go back to sleep. And it kind of like really made me sad and, you know, I really didn't want to come back. But, you know, this is what I worked towards and this is what's going to help me be successful in the future. I don't know what I want to do with my life yet. Like, everybody keeps asking me, oh, what are you going to major in? What, what are you going to study? And it, it's kind of embarrassing telling them that I don't know. But at the same time, I feel it's a great thing that I don't know because I get to experience a lot of what other people don't know because a lot of people, they come in with a set major and they're taking those classes that they have to take to fulfill that major and you know I'm taking classes that I think sound fun and I would actually prefer you know my situation than actually just taking classes that I have to take okay so um I only have a few close friends that I've made coming to Cal and there you know Jackie and Lisette which I met in Bridge with my roommates and you know like when we moved them for the fall semester it was like we, well, I felt more comfortable around them, so I kept hanging out with them more than with the people on my floor. And then it's just, I feel sometimes that the people on my floor are just so different, and we're not like really into like the same things, so like we don't connect all the times. And it's really awkward being like the only Latina in there. So at the same time, like that plays a huge role in why I don't really talk to people on my floor. I usually just talk to like serve rich people and um people that I knew from before I came to Berkeley and you know like I don't know why but it just I just feel more comfortable around them and you know I, I try to keep in touch with like the people I knew from before like from high school I know you, most of the time people say that you won't keep in touch with people from high school and the people you meet in college are your greatest friends but I'm trying to keep in touch with 
people I was really close to and you know I am trying to make new friends but at the same time I don't feel the need to because I already had friends from Bridge and I was really close to them and we had a really good connection. I would like to end my video with something I wrote. Okay so this is a piece I wrote during the Occupy Cal movement and it really like the movement really influenced me and it changed my whole perspective on Berkeley. So here it goes. If a few weeks or even days ago someone had asked me what it means to be a Berkeley student, I wouldn't have known what to say. But after all the Occupy movements that have been going on, I realized that being a Berkeley student is having the power to change the world. Every time I leave my room to go to a protest, I tell my roommate, I'll be right back, I'm going to change the world. It may sound like a joke, but it's true. Although there has been a lot of publicity regarding the Occupy movement, there is another struggle that hardly anyone talks about. The struggle that a lot of people of color have to overcome when they pursue a higher education. I look around the classroom and I don't see many people that look like me. I don't have an older sister or parents that can advise me when I want to know what classes to take or how to get used to a different environment or how to choose my major. Sometimes I feel like I made a mistake and I don't belong here but then I remember the reason why I'm here. This is all new to me. I know it sounds like a cliche, but I am feeling things I never felt before. I feel worried, terrified, excited, happy, sad, lost and accomplished, and empowered all at once. I have never been in a community like Berkeley before. Everyone here is so different from what I am used to. As I walk around, I see all the movements and all the things that everyone is into, and I can't help but stare. I feel... Like an outsider who will never find her place, but after participating in some of the protests, I know that this is where I belong. I want to be a part of the empowerment. Whether it is by participating in a protest or making a project that helps other students like me understand that they are not alone. Right now, I may be one of the few Latinos that attend Cal, but I know that our hard work will open the door to more Latinos that want to pursue a higher education. Every time I leave my room to go to class, or open a book to study, I am changing the world. I am opening the doors for other Latinos and telling them, Si se puede. Yes, we can be successful. And yes, we do belong here.